Praise the Lord. Welcome to another edition of Touch of Healing. I'm Pastor Daniel. This is a program specially designed to minister to people, spirit, soul, and body. Now, if you're watching this, it's because God wants you well. And it doesn't matter what kind of ailment, what kind of challenges you're going through. I want you to know that God loves you and He wants you to be healed, to be restored in every area of your life. And that's what Touch of Healing is about. Today I'm talking about something I think is very, very unique, very special. I'm talking about the power of the tongue. You know, many people when they are sick today, they think, well, there's nothing I can do. All we can just do is depend on the doctors and the medical field and whatever they say is what's going to happen to me. Now we thank God for doctors and we know that they are helping to bring people to health. But there is something even more powerful that the Bible says we have that we have to begin to use to help us to walk in health. And so today I'm talking about the power of the tongue. Join me as I read from the book of Proverbs, chapter number 18. I'm just going to read one verse, verse 21. And the Bible says here, Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Now, the Bible is saying that there is power in our tongue to produce death or to produce life, which means that somebody can determine by what he says, whether he's going to live or he's going to die. I know not too many people see this or believe this. That's why we read the Bible. The Bible tells us that there is power in our tongue to produce death and to produce life. So you can see one reason why some people may be sick, if not just about everybody that is sick, because what we say is affecting our bodies, it's affecting our lives, it's affecting our future. And what we don't say can also be an effect because the life and death is in the power of our tongue. If we begin to speak negative things, speak dead, speak evil, speak, speak, you know, negative future, then we eventually get that. At the same time, if we begin to speak life, speak health, speak peace, speak things that are good, we get what we say. In short, that's what Jesus taught in Mark 11, which is one of the most prominent scriptures of our faith. He said, Whosoever shall say to this mountain, Be thou removed, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he said shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he said. That's a very powerful statement. So Jesus is saying that we have power to say things, and if we believe it, we are going to have exactly what we say. We don't get what we think about, we don't get what other people say, we don't get what everybody's thinking or saying. We get what we say. Now if somebody says something and we don't like it, we can choose to say something different about ourselves. For example, maybe uh, you're sick and, and you have a report that you're going to have six more months to live. You can change that with your own words. You can begin to say, I shall not die but live and give God glory. And if you begin to say that well enough and you believe it, you discover that it will change your life. The same way you can actually declare healing for your body. We thank God for the ability to pray for people, which is the same principle. When we pray, we believe, we receive it, we have it because we are speaking words of faith. But even more than that, you can speak to yourself. If you are a Christian, that even makes it more powerful. And if you're not a Christian, you don't believe in God or don't believe in Christ, you can change that today by receiving Jesus into your heart so that your words can even become more powerful. That means that as you begin to speak to your body, speak to your organs, speak to your eyes, your back, every part of your body, they're hearing you. In short, the way Jesus ministered to the sick is often just by speaking words. He said to the paralyzed man, get up, take off your bed and walk. He said to the man with the withered hand, stretch out your hands. And as he spoke these words, power was released. Because power is released when we speak words. So if you're sick and you're watching this, maybe you have been saying, oh no, it looks like I'm going to die. This thing is getting worse. I'm tired. It's so painful. And, you, and you've been saying things in that wise. If you keep saying those kind of things, that's what you're going to see and keep experiencing. So if you want it to change, even if your physical condition has not changed, you can begin to say something different. Say what you want to see, not say what you already see. So if you are feeling pain in your body, you can begin to say, 
I believe I'm healed. This pain is dissipating. I'm getting stronger every day. Jesus took away my sickness, so I am where I'm coming out of this every withhold. As you're saying those things, power is being released. Even if you got a negative report from the doctors or somebody says, look, you don't have long to live, you can begin to change that. You don't have to accept anything negative. The Bible says life and death is in the power of the tongue. If you begin to say, I'm coming out of this, I'm getting well, I'm getting stronger, I'm healed in the name of Jesus, you will see that your words will produce life. In short, the Bible categorically tells us, it says, let the weak say, I am strong. That means that you don't want to say what you feel if the feeling is negative. You want to say what you believe, what you want to see. So instead of saying, I'm so weak, I'm tired, I'm, I'm, I'm dying, this thing is killing me. No, you have to change your speaking and begin to say, I'm healed, I'm getting better every day. My bones are strong, the pain is gone. I can see clearly now. As you begin to say the words of faith, what you want to see, the Bible says the life and death is in the power of the tongue. If you speak life, then life is released. If you speak death, and death is released. That means that you can actually be responsible for getting yourself to be well. Again, you, you may want to go ahead and you know eat the right kind of food, do the right kind of exercise, follow the instructions that you may be given, but don't forget the biggest part, the biggest power of it is in what you believe and what you say. So start saying from today, I'm healed. That's saying I'm coming out of this. That's saying this is not unto death. That's saying I will not die but live and show forth the glory of God. That's saying I'm getting stronger. The pain is dissipating. I'm getting better. I'm going to come out of this hospital. I'm going to come out of this pain. I'm healed in Jesus' name. If you say that often enough and you believe it and you say it, I want you to let you know that power is released to bring it to pass. God's word cannot fail. Mark 11 says you will get whatsoever you say. That's the way I've lived in divine health for many years. Myself and my family, we have a big family. Everyone is walking in health. How? We speak to our bodies, we speak to our organs, we speak to our eyes, our ears, and we say, be healed, be restored, stay strong. We declare we will not die. We will not be, we will not be destroyed by any kind of sickness and disease. And because we believe it and say it according to the word of God, we get what we say. So you can change your life today begin to say it. Don't get discouraged if it doesn't happen overnight. Sometimes it takes a little while saying it over and over and again to renew your mind, to renew our minds so that we can believe what we are saying. And the Bible says if we believe it and we say it, we get whatsoever we say. That's the greatest power there is, the power of faith that is released from God's word. So I'm going to be praying with you today. I'm going to be speaking words of faith. I'm going to be declaring that you are healed. I'm going to be declaring that your sickness is not unto death. No matter how difficult or how hard it is, God says nothing is impossible to him that believes. And as we pray, the healing power of God is going to come through this screen, through this medium, and you will be healed in Jesus' name. That's what the Word of God says. So if you're watching this, just stretch your hand towards the screen. Or if it's a telephone, you can just hold it. Believe. And as I pray, the power of God is going to come upon you. And I want you to begin to say, I believe it. I'm healed. I'm delivered. I'm free. And as you say it with your mouth and believe it in your heart, you will receive your healing according to God's Word in Jesus' name. So let's go ahead and pray. Father, we thank you for your word. Your word is true. You said that by faith, whatever we ask for, believing we receive, we will have. And you said that we will have whatsoever we say when we speak to mountains and tell them to move. So right now, in the name of Jesus, I command every manner of sickness and disease for everyone watching this program. I say, be moved from their body. Be removed in the name of Jesus. Cancer, be removed from their body. Glaucoma, be removed. Most people's sclerosis, be removed. Every kind of heart disease, back disease, bone degeneration, arthritis, be removed from their bodies in the name of Jesus. I say be healed from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. Let that swelling come down to normal. Let every growth that is ungodly be removed. Dry up and be removed in the name of Jesus. I command that you are healed from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. It's done 
in Jesus' name. I want you to begin to rejoice. Begin to say, thank you, Father. Thank you, God. I'm healed. I believe I'm healed. And you can even mention the kind of ailment you used to have. You say, I don't have it anymore. Headache is gone. My backache is gone. It's gone. I'm healed. Cancer is gone. I'm healed. I'm healed from the crown of my head to the soles of your feet. And just continue to say that even when this program is off, don't stop saying it. Say, I thank you, Father. I believe I'm healed. And if you say it and you say it, the Bible says life is released from your own tongue even onto your whole body. So I want to begin to hear, I want to hear testimonies from you. I do believe many of you have been received your healing and many of you will discover that as you say it, the healing will be complete and perfect. But write us, let us know. Share your testimony. We want to hear from you. And don't forget to subscribe and share this message with other people too so that they too can receive their healing and, you know, by speaking to their body. Don't forget this principle works not only for healing, it works for finances, it works for marriages, it works for every area of your life. Instead of saying the negative, say the positive and you will receive whatsoever you say. I look forward to seeing you another, in another edition of Touch of Healing. Until then, God bless you. Keep speaking life in Jesus' name. Have a blessed day.